So in this case, we still need to find out difference of typical questions that can be given on the overflow. In our last class, we had a question where we worked the overflow and we managed to apply the actual volumes uh, since we were having the volume of the liquid, the final volume of the liquid and the volume capacity of the container as we were told that it was not expanding the container, its expansion was negligible. It was not to be considered. In this case, we also have a glass flask. Uh, in our last class, I was saying a flask. Yeah, I, uh, in fact, I, I said most are not expanded. Most, I did not say all of them. So uh, that one, because most of, uh, you know, English guys sometimes might not be expressed properly. Uh, because I was referring to the flask, because you might add the information wrongly from the previous class. Then you have got this class when I'm talking about the expansion of the flask. I was saying in the previous class that some flasks that we have, they do not expand. Some they do. And the expansion actually will be because of the tem higher temperatures, this and that, or maybe it is just designed like that. Anyways, in our case, we are given a glass flask is filled with 35 cubic centimeters mercury. So we have a flask and inside it is filled with the mercury inside. This volume that we are seeing, it is not the volume of the flask. No. It is a filled with the 35 cubic centimeters mercury. It is the volume of mercury there. So I'm just gonna use letter M for mercury. It is the volume of mercury that we are given, which is inside, inside the flask. It is filled, it is, it, it, they, they, they just say is filled, not filled up. When they say filled up, it means it is up to the end. It is that volume of the, uh, of the mercury. It is also the volume of the container. But in this case, the, it, 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 filled, it can be filled up to half. It can be filled up to three quarters. So this can be three quarters of the volume. It can be half of the, we do not know. They do not mention so it is the original volume that we are just given there of uh, our mercury. That's it. That's what we're given. Not to say it is the volume of the container. No, 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 no. So we are not given the volume of the container. So it is at a temperature of 20. That's our initial temperature, 20 degrees Celsius. The temperature is increased to this one. That is the final temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. The linear expansion coefficient of the glass, which is the glass flask. So the flask, we're just gonna use G for that one. As you can see, they use G and M. That's why I choose that letter M. So for the glass with uh, nine times 10 to the exponent of negative six, all right. And uh, for the, there we are given the volumetric expansion this time for mercury they gave us uh, the volumetric expansion. All right, no problem. From this, the question was calculate the volume that will overflow. It means there is an overflow in this case. There is an overflow in this case. They told you that there's an overflow. So how do we go about it? We are not told about the volume of the mask, of the flask, I mean, this flask. We're not, we are not told about that volume. So where can we have its original volume? Where? It's difficult. We, do, we are not even given uh, the dimensions, or say maybe even the shape so that we can even try to calculate it. When it is like this and there is an overflow and you do not have the access to get these 
or I mean, uh, actually to get the capacity of the container. Yes, this one, you can have it of the liquid. You can have the final volume. But the capacity, what the container can carry up to, you do not know. You have to work with this formula for the change. There are increments. There are changes. So in this case, we must work with the change in volume for the what? For the mercury, which is the one that overflows, minus the change in the volume of the what? Of the flask, which is our glass. That is the only way. That's the only way. So let's determine them, guys. Let's start with our mercury here. What is the change or the increment for the mercury? The change in uh, volume for the mercury in this case is going to be taken. We take note of dealing with volume. So we are supposed actually to use the volumetric expansion uh, for mercury, but we are not given that we are given the right it is there for me they gave us all right for, for mercury is there so this one is there it is there original volume times change in temperature so what's our original volume now the original volume it is given all right everything is given all right guys uh this one is given so why am i trying to all right 17 why am i trying to bring things that are not even uh, necessary here. This one is a direct question, guys. Let us just take our question. 35. I used the cubic centimeter, so my answer is going to be in cubic centimeters, change in temperature. All right. Uh, this one is this one is fine. So it was going to give us something like 0, 0,1785 uh, cubic centimeters. So that's the change of volume of the mercury. You do the same thing for the what? For the glass, which is the, the flask. All right, so for the glass, the change in volume was going to be from, since we are not given the volumetric expansion like what we're given here, we're going to use three times what? Three times the linear, all right, times original volume times the change in temperature. So we're going to take our linear, nine times 10 to the exponent of negative six. What is the original volume? It is the volume of mercury inside the glass inside our flask the volume that is inside that will be our original i talked about this uh previously there was there was there was there was a section that i explained anyways 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 let's go back let's see it's supposed to be here or oh, this one when you deal with the container the volume original volume there it is the volume of liquid inside the container so that is what happened here so we're going to use uh, the 35 the change in temperature as it is 50 minus what minus 20 because they'll be at the same temperature both will be at the same temperature so simplifying this we were going to get a uh, 0 comma 0 uh, i was just supposed to round off here guys no problem anyways right the way that you understand with this we can determine uh, the overflow. As you can see, guys, the, the, the mercury is having a bigger change. So that's, we're going to have an overflow in this case here. So let's subtract uh, the mercury. All right. The mercury is uh, the change. That's uh, 0, 0,1785. Since I did not round off, let me write as it is. Then for the glass, uh, for the glass, which is our flask, is this one. All right, no problem. Just going to write a uh, round of the final answer. Uh, that was uh, 0 0.028. All right, or well, let me just use three decimal places, guys, because here, yeah, this one, they do not match. I'm just going to take with this one 0. Point, I was just supposed to round off, guys. This is 9 here, 179. Uh, guys, do not worry about me. Do not worry, right? The way that you understand, right? Any, 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 any. I just want to maintain these ones also to be three. So I'm just going to take up to this one. All right, no problem. 0 0.028. So the difference there was going to be uh, 0 0.151 uh, cubic centimeters. So that's our overflow. As we can see, we are dealing with cubic centimeters, cubic centimeters. We must have the same units on our presentation. So that is how these questions sometimes can be given as 
um we're just gonna try to add more questions of the overflow because the container can be like this the container can be like that it depends also as an individual try to search more questions where you do not understand let me know so that we can work on those more questions or on those questions that you do not understand till we meet again